from OT and I'm going to show you a quick simple fine motor activity using a hole puncher, paper, and some string. So using a hole puncher is a good activity to work on hand strength, bilateral coordination, and some visual motor skills. So you're going to have your child hold the hole puncher with the dominant hand and then have them hold it with their opposite hand just to help stabilize it. And you're just going to have them poke some holes through just like so. If your child has difficulty manipulating the hole punch, you can hold it for them and then have them hold your hand and squeeze and apply pressure just so that they're getting the point that they squeeze, they apply the pressure, and then the hole punch will punch through the paper. To make it a little bit difficult and more of a visual motor activity, you can give your child some dots that they have to try to keep the hole puncher on. So they're going to just line it up, they're going to punch, trying to line it up as best as they can, squeezing. You can give them as many dots or as little dots as you want. You can also do some shapes, draw the dots on the shape and just have them move the hole puncher right along the holes, trying to keep them as best they can. And then when you're all done making your holes, you're going to take your string, you're going to make sure that you put a knot at one end so it doesn't go through the paper, and then you can wrap some tape around the other side so that it's easier to get it through each of the holes. So then you're just going to have them hold it, with their opposite hand and with their dominant hand they're going to pull it in and then they have to push it right through put it in the hole and then they have to pull it out go all the way down just like that and then if you wanted to make another step or another activity you can take the dots that came out of your hole puncher and you can either make your own picture or you can print off a picture and just have your child work on matching those little dots that are given using that pincer graph to pick them up and line them up with those dots on the picture just as another step if you want to and there you go and have them fill up all of the picture I hope you found this activity helpful and I hope that you try it at home. Thanks.